Draft day, draft day. The real draft day is officially here. <sighs> Shit, man, it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. A lot of people went, but it's always a diamond in the rough. Let them sleep, because at the end of the day, we all got to throw that helmet on, step on that field, and get to work. So it don't matter where you go, it doesn't matter how you react. We ready to get to it. I grabbed this belt from Bloomies in New York. But I bought the belt. I didn't even know it was reversible. Crazy. And it ain't that little basic belt y'all be wearing. That buckle crazy. We was in the car. My cousin grabbed the box. He like, oh, this belt felt tough. It's reversible. I flip it over. I'm like, oh, that's why it was so much. Can't leave without him. He gonna be with me regardless. Rest in peace, LeCarrie, man. I'm gonna be here to see it for you. Major love. You know what I'm rocking. Custom with love. If you ain't got any peace, go get it, cause they selling out. And when they drop, they ain't gonna drop again. This is pure straight satin. You know, you got the patent leather hat. She just, she too crazy. One of a kind, best in the game. Jason, how you doing? Uh, this is uh, Nick Sirianni. I'm head coach with the Eagles. Hey, coach, how you doing? Good. Just calling. Just calling. Uh, just to talk to you a little bit here before your day starts. Uh, uh, just wanted to let you know I think you're a heck of a football player. Um, you know, I'm really impressed with your film and. You know, just uh, just really wanted to let you know that. You know, I know you're a former track athlete. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, just just got a lot of good things with your film and your numbers. Uh, you know, just want to let you know before the day started. Uh, I don't know how the day's gonna go out, right? I, don't, right. I have no idea how it's gonna work out. This, this whole draft thing's a little, a little different, right? It's just, you know. <laughs> yep. I'm you already know known. You know, but I just want you to let you know, fourth round, fifth round, sixth round, seventh round, free agent, doesn't matter how you get, how you get in the building. Just make, you know, take advantage of it when you do get in the building. You know what I'm saying? Your tape, everything, it speaks for itself. And uh, I just want to wish, wish you luck today and enjoy it. You only get drafted once, right? Right, right. Yeah, so I just, just, just go and enjoy it. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we're talking later. Um, yes, again, sir. Not promising anything, can't predict anything. <laughs> um, but just wanted to make sure I, I reached out to you and let you know I'm a fan of your tape and uh, and best of luck today. Hey, coach, I really appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate it. And yes, hopefully we are speaking later and I become an eagle. All right, all right, Jason. Well, enjoy yourself today. All right, coach. All right, now see ya. Finally, just finished dressing up, ready, draft ready. About to hit the crib. Show y'all where it all started. What made me the old stomping ground. I don't think I've been back here in years, bro. Probably over five. This is wild. This is wild. I got mixed emotions about this. I don't know whether I should think about the times my dad made me run the trees. That mean you had to lap the whole perimeter of this. <laughs> and then turn around and lap it one more time and meet him back over here. Bro, I should think about just football, bro, and what started it all, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing what made me, where it all started, but it's time to really get to it, man. Time to get the spare time. Riding wins the locks, family, food, and that call. Let's get it.
Hey, can you can you carry this in for me? Yeah. All right. Let's get it. I talked to the um. John Harbo texted me. The head coach of the uh, what team was that? Eagles texted me. I mean, called me this way. The head coach, the head coach of the Eagles called me. Uh, the Jets. Saints, that's it though. But the Eagles sound the most realistic. Oh, it's all the way over here. Yeah. Oh, good. They got a little private entrance too. Perfect. Yeah. I should have parked on this side. I'm Lewis Pinnock Jr. I'm the father of Jason Pinnock. I should say the proud father of Jason Pinnock. As far as being a dad of a, of a, of a kid that's uh, playing major college football, it's obviously it's exciting. Um, it just makes you proud. It makes you feel good that um, he's worked so hard to get to some place and his, uh, his goals, he's meeting those goals. And you know, I think he appreciates it and uh, I appreciate it. I could blind all those other emotions and just really soak in the love that's from all these guys that been with me and had a, a, a you know a say in my journey to where I am today. What's up? It's Lewis Pinnock, the third. I go by Trey. I'm Jason's older brother. Man, I think the most memorable moment for me, definitely that UCF game. It's the one that you always see. That that jump. People will call you and tell you that they pick you. Yeah, and then uh, and, and then I. Well, after, then after you get the call, they'll show it on the TV. So you don't know until they call, yeah. So you just wait. Nah, you don't know nothing, really. What's up, coach? What's up, what's up? Yes, sir. Let's get it. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. It's all gas. I'm coming to work. I'm coming to work. I swear.
Good, bro. I got fly out Wednesday. I got to do this um Zoom meeting. Bro, this is crazy, bro. This feel fake. Life full circle, bro. The Jets. The Jets. Jet up. Jet up. Hey, Jason, what's happening? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing great now. <laughs> Pinock. Yep, Pinock. I, hey, hey, man. I appreciate you asking. <laughs> uh, it's it's amazing. It's it's words I can't even come to terms with. Uh, I've been a fan since Revis. Uh, and it's, it's, it's almost like life comes full circle. It's surreal. Jason. Hey. Uh, I'm just wondering, how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, witty player, long, you're gonna get length and, and speed. Uh, can change direction, drop my hips. Uh, I'm a vocal, vocal football player, pre-snap and post-snap. Uh, great teammate, uh, a lot of things. Ah, I'm sorry, repeat that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. What was the question? I said you played receiver in high school. So how do you think that benefits you now that you're an NFL defensive back? I'm an overall corner. I can play press. I can play one high. I can play three. I can play trap. I can play cover two. I can go into nickel. I can do a lot of things, but uh, I love press. That's that's. Yeah, that's something I fell in love with that pit, and I take a lot of pride in. Well, what was going on through my mind when uh, I knew he was going to get drafted, I, I actually was just watching the screen because I felt like it wasn't going to be real until I saw it. And then when I saw it, I was like, this man's dream just, just came true. He just actually got drafted into the NFL. And I'm just, I was proud of him. I was happy. I was relieved. Um, I mean, yeah, I was just relieved for him and happy and just can't wait for him to get started. When I seen the Jets finally go ahead and put my brother's name across that screen, I'm going to be real with you. We're a very confident family. So I almost thought, okay, it's about time. <laughs> but they're going to see. He's going to get to work, and he's going he gonna to have fun with it. His birth until <laughs> now went through my mind. I have been so stressed out. Over the weeks, the last couple of days, just watching my son, seeing the anticipation, seeing the, the stress, and being a mom and not being able to take that away from him and to finally see that the wait is over and that your child has finally actually fulfilled his dream that he has had his entire life meant so much to me. And uh, it's, it's overwhelming, the family, his support, just seeing everybody here to embrace him and him know that regardless of whatever happens in life, his family and his friends are always gonna have his back. And it just meant so much for us to all be here in one place to show him that love. And I'm proud, I'm extremely proud of him. It was so many things going through my mind when I got that call, but I just was thinking of me living in New York. Like I'm really gonna be in New York. My family's right here. That's the most important thing to me. Uh, I was just focused on standing. I was almost about to drop. Like, this is this amazing. First impressions, everything, for one. Uh, I'm coming to work. That's exactly what I've been saying this whole process. I'm tired of the waiting. I'd rather have, I, I like the portions of the process where I had control. You know, if it was a pro day, that was on me. You know, I had to perform. Uh, but this whole little thing, just waiting, that waiting, it killed me. So uh, now that it's over and I could get to work, I'm ready.